Radiant team ban. Hello? Yo. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm gonna go upstairs and make some toast because I really thought it was gonna be a while. And I was like, oh, I guess I'll just peek just to make sure there's like no the, players back. <laughs> the, it's like draft something draft started. Is started. Yeah. I was surprised as well. Just like suddenly, hello, there's a game. <laughs> Welcome. What a pleasant surprise. This is the opposite of what usually happens. Yeah, absolutely. Especially for a best of three. I'm glad we get started now and not in like 45 minutes time. Remaining. That would oh, stop. disruptor! Thank you, uh, Sir, Sir Godbear, because actually Giant that was my team. wife and I were trying to figure out because uh, what Michiganers Giant are called. Wait, what if they were Michiganians? But now I know they're uh, Michiganders. Michiganders. Oh, oh. Good to know. Okay, so this looks like kind of the draft thing, right? Everyone's open at the Sand King AA. It's not just Mouse Sports. Another team's up to the Shagans as well. Ten seconds remaining. They are becoming incredibly popular. And Vichy even picked Jogger to that. Five seconds remaining. <sighs> okay, I'm down. Dyer no, I'm not too bad. Maybe go flick some, uh, some spit plates and everything like that. The Disruptor Wait, will be on. good. Mass was that first pick, right? Yes. So Juggernaut came for AA. Oh, yeah. That makes way more sense. AA. That's like a hundred times more sensible. Yeah. That's also not really the edge we just stepped down. Yeah, I just had to get like my head around that thinking, hang on a second, oh, they didn't pick Jug into AA. Five that didn't happen. Remaining. So yeah, the AA, you know, good with the Sand King, we've seen the combo come out, Blink, Borrow, Strike, Epicenter, the Ice Flash. But also deterring Vici away from Radiant any kind of sustained pushes back. with Healing Ward. Thankfully, Vici Gaming actually have uh, all their drafts like on the ticket, at least for this event. I mean, they've got six <laughs> games on record. Most teams have like two because of like, all Dyer the bugs and the lack hit. of tickets and stuff like that. So uh, we can definitely see the pattern they've been going for. Lots of Dazzle. Uh, not banned out, but they went for the Disruptor to kick things off today. So kind of mixing it up. They had a Disruptor Sand King opener just uh, 14 hours ago. Jeez, they're playing right again since that loss to Planet Odd. Not even much sleep, remaining. really. It's been a late night for them. Five seconds remaining. But uh, with the Juggernaut, I mean, he kind of makes up for the lack of the Dazzle. You get that healing sustained push. So they can still go for this time. kind of five-man gaming. But they got the Ancient Apparition. So things get a bit risky with that Sand King. Maybe they go for a position three uh, that also has a lot of that team fight, like the Tidehunter or the Earthshaker. And suddenly five-man gaming looks very difficult for VG. Will they do something similar to earlier and go for like Skylark Fury in again? I think depending on what VG Gaming have, definitely. Oh, Ooh, a Ricky. Radiant we don't get him too often. We were just talking about him and how, like, that's a mouse sports hero that's been kind of gone. Yeah, um, these, these Invis heroes, they kind of swing in and out of metas, you know, Ricky, Bounty Hunter, roaming around. Um, I guess with heroes like Earth Spirit getting nerfed a fair amount, who Ten used to pseudo counter them in the early roaming stages, you know, you carry sentries and dust Five and you're able to counter initiate remaining. onto any kind of harass coming out of them. That they lost a lot of their potency. But now those heroes are being shifted out. I guess it's only normal for Invis heroes to kind of shift back in. Because Sand King uh, has like one Burrow Strike and then he's done, whereas Ricky can just keep chasing with all the Venom. The uh, classic Ma Razor. Bounty Hunter ban against Mouseports eliminates a significant Dive counter. Team. Then Mouseports removing the Batrider Night Stalker, which most teams have been doing. Uh, these Vision heroes that are really good for VG Gaming. They're, they're mega into the Vision. So uh, Batrider and Night Stalker are like the big pairings with Disruptor. Ricky's going to have to try and do kind of the same thing where he skips ahead and allows you to get this glimpse back. But remaining. then they need someone else to capitalize on top of this. I'm not sure if Jug... Jug's like kind of okay. Five seconds remaining. Let's hmm. see if we can find a secondary one. The Razor ban, or the Razor pick is fairly strong Reserve here. Time. Still want to keep that flexibility open with the Sand King. I mean, you pick your off lane here now for sure, right? There's, there's yes, no reason... 100%. No reason to pick your mid here because you're not sure if Razor is mid or safe lane. You... I think it's just Darks here, right? I, I think so. I think That's so. Gotta be the hero. Synergy with Disruptor. You've got Iron Shell Ricky, which is huge in the early stages. You know, Razor is good at lane domination, but isn't good at dealing with someone who's invis sat next to them with Iron Shell and slowing them with like a normal Venom. I, actually, kill Razor, though. Yeah. Okay, they're still going to do it. But there is that interaction team pick. with Ricky Blink, right? It will purge off the Iron Shell. Uh, Unstable Current, sorry, will we'll purge Iron Shell. Oh, that is true. I guess that's something, that to consider. something we don't consider too much. Yeah. Not not gonna be a huge thing, but something maybe to look Ten out for when Ricky's remaining. playing aggressively with Shell. Yeah, on I him. mean, if Razor gets vacuumed into a stack storm, he's just gonna trick the trade anyway and mm. the life will be fine. So uh now that you have this, they Reserve do not have a 
this will probably get safe lane Razor now, I'd imagine, for Madara, even though it was probably the most likely thing anyway, but now with the Darks here, it's, like, more guaranteed. We saw them do really well in that matchup, actually, yesterday. Uh, it was up against VG Gaming. VG Gaming did end up winning that game. That was uh, one of the more wild games. Oh, that was the game that they threw. They were up... Uh, that was the 15... game that they threw. <laughs> yeah, 15K at 40 minutes. Oh, jeez. And then they just lost. They, they still... just got, like... It was really well played by VG Gaming, because they had this Terror Blade, who is still in the pool. I... I wonder if they'll ban that and just be too worried about it, possibly, because they just got, like, TB and TA. Maybe they'll ban the TA instead, but, like, they just held up for so long, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting until Mouseport screwed up, and then they dark seared them, and then they just destroyed all their buildings, and it was over. Oh, man. <laughs> it was really sad. That sounds awful. Yeah, like, it was a slow buildup all the way from 30 minutes when they took control of the net worth lead, right to 40 minutes, and then just gone. Even before that, it felt like they were winning, like, the whole game. Like, they had a, a 5k lead at 15 minutes. What the hell do you pick here as mouse boards? Um, Razor, you want matchup against the Darkseer, and the AA is there, so that's fine. Again, we're thinking I'm, about the offlane hero. So I'm even wondering about that, because if you put the Razor in the matchup against the Darkseer, that shifts a lot of your priority away from heroes that deal with Ricky, like... Know, carry your core heroes that do well against Ricky Smokescreen because you want natural BKB carriers, right? Which don't normally come from mid lane. I or think you pick a. I think you pick your mid, right? Because you have the four or five anyway. So you're oh, trying to figure out what shaker. they would ban that you really want. Okay, they're not even going to do that. Dire team ban. So right. I really don't want the shaker ban. Right? Right. This is exactly what we said right off the bat, though, right? This is Sand King shaker. This is how you deal with potential five man threat, which they are majorly showing right now with Darkseer Jug. And ES is super good against Ricky and Disruptor ganks. You just like split them in two and make sure they can't yeah. continue chasing. Seconds, but I, I feel like the decision is more about the Razor position seconds, than anything me. else. Because against Ricky's smoke screen, you know, with uh, and like, it's, it's the smoke screen Reserve vacuum and static time. storm, which you're always worried about when you're picking a you know a, a key hero here for the draft for mass sports to round it out because they need someone who does a shit ton of damage and can fight with the Razor early. Or drag things out to uh, you know mid to late game, because if, if if it's Razor safe lane, right, you can't give Thug Quop or OD or DP because it's super scary because you don't have a All safe right. hero behind them. I got it. Mid Razor for Thug, and they go for the classic Madara Swire. See, I was thinking Slug as well, but even that against Smoke Screen is mega nasty. Radiant Team Puck. Ban? Are they gonna Puck? Yeah, cool. Thug Puck. Dire Bam TA. I mean, that's kind of the, the big heads up. So that's uh, uh, if we're giving this to Madara in terms of the Razor, uh, I think Thug Puck is the best one. They ban Thug Queen of Pain. Puck is his best hero. Gives him some more control to go with the uh, AA, the Sand King, and the Ten Shaker. Seconds remaining. They got so much damage on Mouse Sport. Five seconds remaining. Like TA gets purged. Fisher initiation from Fog. Illusory Orb, Ice Reserve Blast. Time. Just like damn is. Mouse Sports has damage that comes out of nowhere. Like, it just appears on your hero, and then you're dead, suddenly, if you don't have ward coverage over them. Vichy Gaming is much more obvious. You know, they set up DK? around towers, they slowly push in. Yeah, DK would be nice. Has some combo Bristol. potential with Darkseid Disruptor. Every hero that looks good with their lineup is really bad versus Ray. <laughs> like, DK, Bristle, uh, Death Prophet? Death Prophet. OD is... Not bad here. Like, OD is... I feel like they need building hitting, though. Strong like, the DP spirit. just seems Ooh. better, but... Okay. Mobility. This is exactly like last game. I was calling literally those exact heroes, and they just picked Storm instead, and I went, oh, okay. So, here we go. Storm Gaming. Didn't work out last game, but... <laughs> this one's a little better. Uh, I feel hmm. this is a really scary Storm game. Like, this, this is super scary. Sure, you've got the Ricky Darks here to maybe try and help you out in lane. But, like, pre-level 6 and then mid-game, you're dealing with Fishers from Fog, Blink Burrow Strike, Blink Waning Rift from Puck. I swear this Storm has to go, like, Yule's, Yule's first item or something. Mega spooky. They actually swap things up. Maybe next time is going to be on the Earthshaker. Originally picked Ten the Sand King. Remaining. I don't know if that's a bait and switch or if they just want to try and figure out what lanes they're going to. They uh, they tend to keep them really close in net worth anyway. So by like player name doesn't differentiate a lot for these guys. 
Like the last the last couple times I've seen them do Sand King Earthshaker, it's always super close in net worth. Oh wow! Try and hand a lot of that over. Oh wow, Paps, that's pretty impressive. You totally predicted exactly Mouse's last two picks. Man. The man Twitch chat. Oh, has been I see. Very you were supposed to. I see. He put quotes in. Gotcha. Oh bollocks! I restarted my game, and now all of my console commands have disappeared. Oh dear. Just have to. We'll just have to do it old school. <laughs> He's on stream. Don't He's famous. To... Let me get you one. Hold on. I got you. Do you, do you need them? No, no, no I have them, to... but I'd have to alt tab and mess around. I mean, I'm sure that's worth it, though. Sure. Quality I guess no, no, no one's gonna no one's gonna die right now, so I'll switch it back to the screen. I'll alt. Landing shenanigans. No. Nope. Playing more of the darks here to block. Yeah, this has been a common mouse port ward. They do it a lot when Skylark has the bat rider. At least I think it was Skylark who was doing it, and then he like hides in this little thing, and he does this typical fly trap classic. Right, we did it. And, uh, we succeeded. This is a very late smoke. Very late smoke from Mouse Sports. What, what are they planning to do here? They've sentried, they've spotted the Observer Ward, they've seen this all coming. It looks like they'll try and contest our top bounty rune. So they're going to aggro. Aggro into the jug. Because they're like, yeah, this would be a good matchup for our Sand King. And we can wreck this jug and disrupt. Disruptor's pretty bad in tri lanes. <laughs> Offer a lot, in my opinion. And I've got to delete cut exactly. Oh, oh my god, how? Yes. Alright, goodbye, Sal. Sal? <laughs> yeah. And there goes oh, your Sal was already. so ready for that. He actually almost got it with that. If it wasn't... I'll oh. take your tribute. He just, like, stayed one second longer. He could have cancelled, like, half of that Sal. And they get three bounty runes. Thug gets G. one. Garlock gets one. Well, this game's over. This game's done. So oh, what is this? You see these creeps slipping through? <laughs> it sounds like really. How does that even happen? How do you just walk past? Oh, let's be a go. Oh, this is this is really caught my guard. Oh, okay, Madara. Saved by the Earthshaker Fisher. He's stolen a lot of damage. That BG. looks hilarious. I guess the he... helicopter static. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I guess we just want to try and get the first couple of just in, right? To try and burn through some of his regen, but uh, okay. I just want to put the flag bot lane. They've actually warded this pull camp, thinking that it's going to be safe lane tri lane so that they couldn't be stacked with nonsense like that. But now Dark is here alone. He wants that back to be able to pull on the farm stuff. Yeah, that's a GG self block right there. Yeah. That hurts. And this is kind of expected that, like, teams that run Ricky a lot, I think, would know that a lot of teams aggro try against Ricky. The same thing as Earth Spirit. You just you want to punish the fact that this dude really wants to roam into your other lanes and and mess up your your game. So you try and punish the carry because of that. Thug having a good time mid against the storm. Or he tries to get in there with some trade back with the hit, but they've got a sentry top lane in onto the Ricky. Amy thrown back by the static link. It's pretty funny tries to get into it, but yeah, they like can't kill him, but easy denies. Oh, Madara. You know, I jinxed them, I think. <laughs> oh god, I mean, come on! Get it together, boys! <laughs> this is experience you're losing. Oh god, two, two denies just... Mm. No bueno. Come on, dude. Get in there. That's bad. Mid lane, Fisher just catches a storm. Waiting Rift and a couple of hits. Ori. Oh, that fairy fighter damage, so. guys. Look at that. That is... That's plus two damage. Over a couple hits really adds up. But like, how do you stop this? Even if, like... Even if you're a level 6 storm there, you're still not living. You know, you're out of mana, you're trading hits, you're trying to get into this puck, and then Earthshaker just comes from fog and fishes you and makes sure you can't move anywhere. Sure, your Ricky is there to smoke screen the, the puck, is how that's so he can't jaunt, but of course he's level 1. Feels his burden to help his top lane, so his life is awful. That's a kill to the one, but that's a great Fisher for maybe next time. Spartan's on the right side of the Fisher as well, and Madara just salves up, walks everything off, and he's got a full creep wave. Three range creeps, uh, creeps to hit, and how does have to move. I mean, something that we haven't really talked about is the potential synergy between Ice Vortex, Plasma Field, and Fisher. You know, you're, you're amping up all this magic damage. Uh, I think so often Razor is kind of fails to be talked about as a magic damage dealer. Plasma Field does insane amounts of magic damage early on. 
Yeah, mid uh, that uh, early game is wild. Max 376. Mm. Amy smash. comes back mid lane, just leeching some more experience. <laughs> well, he's got all the venom. No, no yeah. smoke speed. This is a level one Ricky. It's not as though you could even do anything against this park. Then bot lane, what are we looking at? Sand King uh, farming evenly against the Dark Sierra. Against the he's he's going to try and wait for this. I thought he was going to... Wait, what? Where's the bot? Oh, he TP'd in instead. Gave him the old bottle. The hero bottle crow. Classic. The, the lane winner. And the exploit. Mm. Mm. The four minute room. DD bot spot. Like it'll so, be storms. What lane's going better for Dire? None of them. Every lane is being won right now. By Mouse Sports. In mid lane, especially. I mean, that's a 1k gap. But as you pointed out earlier, the self locks are really hurting Derek's here. Skylark just has a free game. What a hero to give a free game to. Seems to just, what was it like? The eight minute blink daggers or something like that we've seen recently on some Sand Kings that get left alone like this. Yes. At least he doesn't have the camps to accelerate that. And what has Ricky done? Walk around. Yeah, he's, he's level two now, Trent. He's level two. He has a smoke screen. Maybe they can do something. Maybe. But then you're still under pressure top lane. You know, the tri lane has stayed here from Mount Court. Chuan is just kind of wandering around, not knowing what to do with himself. He, he can't save how. This Juggernaut just has to try and deal with the brunt of the damage thrown at him by Earthshaker and Razor. Try and get some CS hit in when he can. But when your Jug is 5-1 and one at 5 minutes, he has 1 CS per minute. <laughs> Should they rotate? Uh, how? Uh, like where? Yeah. How? What? I don't know. Okay. Like, if, uh, they, if they were to TP bottom, what happens? Then they just all TP. You're stuck in the same situation. Yeah. Hmm. Tough life. Like you just go and farm jungle. I am like Talon Juggernaut at this point. <laughs> Honestly, I think maybe you maybe you go mid while you're storm jungles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. But it's it, like it's definitely something to do with the jungle, right? So. Oh, this is a nice play though for Mori right now, using the shrine to farm these guys, the prowlers. Pretty sick way to accelerate at six minutes. That's a lot of gold. Oh yeah. He has level Damn six money. now. At long last, level 6 comes. And then you look at this puck who's about to hit level 7. Maxing Waning Rift at this point for that extended duration on the silence. TPing to the bottom lane, looking for maybe a kill onto Yang as they start things off with the Borrow Epi. Oh, nice Sold out by the smoke screen, but the Fisher's here, placed across the two of them. Damage out with Thug just like walking in. <laughs> what a baller. Yeah, I don't know. Yang looks like he might be okay. Caustic is off the range creep with a final hit from Thug. Long range. Slinks away. The Dark's here. That was a lot of expenditure, though. And Skylark is dying to an iron shell. Smoke screen. Oh, the Venom won't take him over, though. Looks like he's okay to tee back home. Oh, yeah, oh he's trying to. Oh, very, very nice efficiency there. At least they have vision Radiant's on it. So they know this is happening, attack. so they're not going to, like, relax. Top lane Spartan. Glimpse yeah. back. Be the first kill for Vichy. Troll can help out. Cool. Oh, that was close actually, but the spin took the uh, aggro. How gets the aggro? Why is Darkseer top, Trent? He dies and then he TP's top lane. Now he has to do the kind of walk of shame all the way across the map down back towards bottom. There was kind of this like Razor hero. I'm scared. I won't shell your storm. Please. Is it even worth it? No, because it'll take a CS and it'll yeah. trigger, it'll trigger <laughs> the storm really bad. The amount of times that happens when your offlane Darkseer is like, I'm helping. I, I unshelled you so you can kill creeps and put waves faster. And he's just like, no, that's not no, dude, how it's... a Darkseer player, I know that like, <laughs> there's a reason we do it. Like, we just want your gold. Like, there's no question. Oh, dear. You know, my PA is just trying to juggle. I'm like, oh, no, I got you, man. Let me help your farm out here. And then Adesso comes three minutes later. Well, Ricky, Amy, still... Trying to find whatever Ricky can find. But with Spartan playing so aggressively forward with no boots on the AA, the Iron Shell ticking him down, and Hal comes through with a spin. Maybe next time he beats away and will complete it all the way back to the fountain. And that means the Spartan does actually get out of there somehow. This is like Ricky's PowerPoint, too. The level 3 and then now level 4 Iron Shells, Yang hits 7. It, like, you're so strong. 
is under attack. But of course, you only get one go at it. Now he's like run home, buy his rape ban. <laughs> Sad life. Uh, this gap is really close mid though. Ori is doing exceptionally well catching him in terms of experience. Puck did make that one rotation bot lane to get the kill on Docs here, which. I, I didn't even check if Puck was in range for the XP and gold because it was quite a distance between the kill. Oh no, Ricky this yeah. time bottom. Yeah. Good setup into kill. That Makes the same rotation. Puck gets in. With a much simpler finish though onto the DS with the help of that epicenter finally channeling. Oh, Holy. So he got two more last hits than his disruptor. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Uh, how does he farm in this lane? Like, he's against the trial lane, which has a Razor in it. Ten denies- wait, hang on. Ten denies on AA. And this isn't- this isn't some gimmick, which is like, oh, he's denied cogs or something like we see from Flockworks. This is actually him denying ten creeps. You got level two chilling touch. Is it one of those skills that doesn't go down if you hit denies? I haven't played AA in forever. I don't actually know. I'm usually not one to ask mechanic questions in the cast, but now I'm kind of curious if that's why it works so well. I feel like it does. I feel like it does too. I'm gonna double check though. Dyer's middle tower. Well, I mean, we have live chat. This is like the one time we can do this shit. Yeah, Surely chat. Someone knows. Tell us, please. I just keep looking at Spartan and expecting him to have boots, but he he is really poor. He is actually really quite poor. They smoke up with thugs that are looking for a kill. Try and get the brown boots on Spartan. Come on, what can you find? I don't know about killing how. Maybe if you waning rift. As you get in there, so he can't blade fury. It looks like you do lose the, the counts, just from my research. Okay. Like that. I was pretty sure it was a hero that takes. I remember being surprised about heroes like they had that shit just Let's look at still, I mean, how turns back to try and kill Spartan. Oh, if he had got lucky on the other hit of the Omni Slash, he would have had it. This has been an absolute tragedy, but at the very least, they kill maybe next time mid lane. I mean. I was gonna say that's a support, but I mean they're also just killing support jug, so whatever. It's all the same. Got him. Got him. Garlic's gonna have blink dagger soon. Not as quick as we've seen other blinks, but like you said, with the jungle not really being accessed by Scarlock at all, having to defend against iron shells, shoving into your tier one. I guess he's done a you know a great job keeping his tower alive. Mid lane, Fisher. Maybe next time lines it up, the veil is there, Spog. Unfortunately, we'll be on the wrong side of the fissure there as MNT didn't line it up quite perfectly. To see what drop, they were looking man. for. Yeah, the rain drop as well. Just like, all right, this isn't worth it. <laughs> uh, what an annoying item. So, dire game plan then. Just basically wait on Storm. Maybe, I think it'd kill this haste rune. I feel like that would be very nice for them. They have a static storm. Chuan has a smoke. Time to try and make a play here, guys. You gonna drop a ward behind the tower? Do we, do we have a plan here, Swan? Nope. Oh, not digging it. Trent, it feels Dyer's so bad to be tower. 11 and a half minutes in and have a level 3 Ricky. And they'll have the stun in there. These iron shells, a lot of damage on the Skylark, but the bugs take the darks here over the threshold of that ice bath trail. Oh my god, he's level off. 3? Yeah, I, I know. I was just looking oh, at him. Buddy. And when you said Disruptor had Static Storm, I was like, oh, sick. They'll have like Static Storm, Kinetic Field, Tricks for Trade. They'll have Vacuum level 3 soon. And I clicked on the Ricky and I just thought, oh, maybe not. <laughs> well, what, like, he has nothing to do. He just, Radiance they're not the tower. easiest heroes to kill as a Ricky. Puck's like impossible. Oh, Razor is exceptionally difficult. But and Skylark, they got one. But like so often with... Oh, he didn't even die. That's right. With, with, with Rickies that don't get stuff done in the early game and you have a Dark Seer on your team, so often we used to see people just have Ricky Iron Shell just, you know, AFK yeah. in camps to get experience. The Spirit Breaker, Night Stalker solution. Yeah. But Amy has been so actively trying to find something, but of course failing because nothing has been gifted to him by They're Mouseport. trying to do something, but the haste room just ran out. Uh -oh. They have a Sack Storm though. Oh, this is all going to be on maybe next time though. The Fisher. Well, Storm jumps in. It looks like they'll kill off MNC before he can get stuff done. But Skylock in there with the epicenter nearly burning through Ori. This is a good the scenario for PG. It does zip away. Madara dying to how? The three you plan cuts off the blows, but DG gets two big kills as that team fight extended by maybe next time. Dies straight away. Considering they had no ward here, that was a really good play from Ori. Just like feeling that there were more rotations coming and people were thinking about this gank and understanding that it was uh, soon to happen, and he catches out the most important hero, that Shaker. And then that allows the heroes that were near the tower to actually get the kill on the Razor. 
And Juggernaut uh, closes the gap. I mean, Razor himself also isn't flying through because he gave this free lane to Skylark rather than Madara. Now that's in trouble. Oh, Sandstorm. Can he get out of this? He's got a Blink Dagger up. He's on, is he just in the backpack trick? He must have. Four strikes away. Back to the shrine. That was definitely the backpack trick, right? I think it was just a, uh, a, stand, a Sandstorm. Just the, the invis and then walking away. I, I think it was just long enough that he hadn't taken any damage. Okay. But it might have been the backpack. Dyer's I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Tower is under attack. Uh, but either way, he, he lives. What a player. He can get all the space. Now, where's their other Blink Dagger? So again, they do try and keep this gap a little bit closer. However, this is one of those times where the Sanking was not really off lane. A solo safe lane, freedom. They're trying to pressure with Madara, and that can kind of hurt with a hero like Razor. I feel like this is the kind of game where we tend to see that Blade Mail build come out. Radius where you're just like fighting more often attack. and stuff, but not exactly the best game for it. So not likely we end up with it. But you know, like so much of your lead on Razor comes more so from that laning stage. Just everyone leaves my lane because I'm too hard to deal with. And you don't really get that when you go aggro. Got his drums finished though. Good team player. Team player. Mm -hmm. I mean, Puck is mega is rich. Under attack. Blink Veil, a third of the way towards the Yule, but bot lane. They start things off on the Skylark, found him deep in behind the tier one. Good observer was spotted, but it was Amy, the Ricky. Basically tracing his movement back and forth, and now they've seen Bug. I think they've finally realized that the pings come out from NNT saying, do not stick around here. They've got some kind of vision. Oh, they're coming down. Start oh, the ice, off, the ice blast. The ice blast. Yang doesn't catch anyone else. The fish your plant the field comes through. But look at Puck. Before any static storm and the only flash plays through. Puck is down and with a wall drop. I don't think Mount Sports have any left in the tank to get. The flat would be big if they could get into the middle of them. There it is. On two for the damage. Because there, MNT back, back into the field. Now they make their escape. A little bit further through with the fish and fire, they're killing off how? This is giving a miraculous turnaround almost by Mount Sports. The drums are popped, but maybe next one is brought down. The healing ward sustains and keeps them alive. And Skylark misses the barrage strike, aims it incorrectly, and the chase is on. They want to try and catch him. Link Honestly, up even if he five. gets that, he just dies sooner, I'm sure, so. Got Epicenter as well, but Vici Gaming. Landing all their spells very nicely. Radiant actually did more damage in that fight. Overall in the Dire, just showing the importance of that healing ward to come out there from our Juggernaut player. 1200 from the Earthshaker, 2200 from the Razor. But... Not able to close anyone out that really mattered again. It's just the jug and how's like, all right, well, my storm's the important guy here. Just closing in on that bloodstone, almost has it. Oh, actually, he finds it. He's Treads. So not that close. Treads Gamer. Treads Gamer. Who does that anymore? My God. <laughs> Who buys Treads? Are we, I thought we were past Treads, man. I thought we were arcane gamers now, but. I oh, thought, I oh thought... Skylark solo plays. Oh, that was a great burst strike as well. Steals the bounty room. Cool. Got him. <laughs> was he in like ball lightning for you when he got hit? He just, like, he just came out. Really strange on my screen. It did look a bit wonky. No, but I, I thought we were brown boots from the travels or busts. Forget arcane boots. Juggernaut with less net worth than the Sand King. Bad man. Rough. What's MNT like? Still a fair distance away from Blink. Somehow MNT is behind Ricky in net worth. How is I guess the three deaths versus yeah. one zero six. That probably helps. That whole fight down bottom. <laughs> Ricky is one zero six. Uh, I, I guess Amy's done a great job just moving around and not dying. Hasn't made any spectacular plays, but the past three or four minutes has been pretty good for Vici. A remake, please. <laughs> Please, no. Oh, I thought he actually said that. <laughs> <laughs> but he did. Scared me. So we have the uh, Veil blink into Yules for the Puck. I she'll finish Yules, probably. Just needs it for that Stack Storm. That was uh, the real punishment there. And uh, Force Staff, very important against Ricky. But they don't have any Force Staff gamers. Yeah, oh, the Dragon Lamp mid. Uh, I'm going to dead. I don't think there's anything there that he can do. Razors don't really buy Dragonlance anymore. That was 
something we used to see a little bit. The kind of boot to travel, Dragonlance, S and Y. The Hurricane Pike could be really good, but Madara is just going to go for move speed, drums, phase into the S and Y straight away. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sand King Earthshaker can buy four staff, but the like the precedent has been set to buy your scepter just to kind of reset, be able to make blink plays, cancel TPs once you bust out your stuns. Can't believe how important that fight was bottom. The fact they're able to get that stack storm on Thug to start and just get a tower. It's so hard for them to get towers game with, with how poor Juggernaut is because he was the only hero that facilitated that and he had Garbo. <laughs> and now he's just like, almost has a Yasha done. He's got level four healing ward now. Life is good. It's all about that bottom fight. Death bounty. How and Amy's doing what Ricky does best and stealing enemy bounty yes. How is still very, very poor. I mean, he's still poor, but you think he would be worse off. But, uh, but I, I feel like this is, you know, a, a symptom and a cause of, of Vici's playstyle. You know, they do like how to be that one hero or the one player that kind of carries them through teamfight. Previously, through a lot of his spend play in other games and other drafts. Which is why I do like the storm for Ori here, just kind of giving a bit of leeway there for how after that awful early laning stage. But they still need this juggernaut to dish out the DPS. They still need the juggernaut to be bit, or else one blip waiting rift and he dies almost immediately to you know, you know uh, a one plus ice blast and then a blink waiting rift is juggernaut dead because he's so he's so squishy. We, we do not like these kind of. Uh, it doesn't words. work if there's left though. Yeah, this is how can he kill him? This terminology is banned in several counties. I'm not using the L word anymore on the So what was the name then? Yeah. Just a hot. Uh, the children have sensitive ears, Trent. I like to hear the L word. There's a fly back. The puck. You like, go into the uh, showcase book and just like, look from his back. How adorable. Oh. Alliance. What is it? No, it's not. Well, I'm going to back to that. That's not, that's not a dream girl. Uh, the last one has the, uh, the Alliance logo on it. This guy's, you know, the best sellout one is the VG Gaming one, Time of Thousand. The top set. It's yeah. like beyond how sellout it is. VG Gaming on the back, VG Gaming floating through the air. Oh, well, <laughs> well, sh he's got a shield on his back with VG on it, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's excellent. There are no other sets. Well. There are no other sets set to do that. Uh, have not to that extent. Team or player names on I think there's a couple other alliance ones that have some references on them. But that nice. one's great. Oh, Skylar's going for it. Man, these epicenters are out of control. <laughs> <laughs> he had dust on him. What? So he knew that Ricky was there, or he wanted to go on Hal? He's a he's an animal, dude. What just happened? Uh, he made entry. <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> he made entry, but... <laughs> 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 it's like it's like the SWAT team, you know, going to knock down a door. <laughs> they bust in with the freaking uh, you know sledgehammers and their rifles raised. <laughs> They're just some grandma sitting in a <laughs> you know in a, in a freaking uh, sofa chair watching. Oh, they're they're bantering. Long jump in, one standing, vortex with the dust to kill Scarlet. Death. Such a smart jump because you know they've used everything. Yeah. Like, I can't stop. And they get a two for one. That is, that's huge, because that's Bloodstone charges, two of them. Poor Ori, Storm Spirit. In the meantime, Razor is trying to split push top, not doing an amazing job, just getting some CS. But that there, it, it allows VG to get a trade, get a kill, apply pressure, give how farming time. They get an Observer Ward down, which was unfortunately spotted by the Mouse Sport Observer, which was well, prior. Later. Didn't do the, gl the, uh, the orb play. 1k puck thug, jeez, come on man. Yeah, he probably just didn't want to be jumped on the second he did it. And he's like, oh, Jug's pushing bottom anyway, this is kind of convenient. <laughs> well, that's, uh, man, that is gonna come out. You know those, like, birds in, like, Papua New Guinea that, like, there's so much food that they've evolved to be all about mating and shit, so they have all those crazy dances? Yeah. That felt like Skylark was, like, trying to do his dance. He was, like, <laughs> showing off the enemy team. Like, it's just this creep wave, and he just hops in, he's like, smacks his tail on the ground, he's like, yeah, what up? Fuck dead, by the way. Important gaming things happening. There's definitely lag. He had your scepter. There's definitely some delay going on. Spot is gonna get jumped on as well and back back into storm killing. Are, are they playing? 
Two more, two more blood loot. Shots. Mouse forts? I think mouse forts right, might Madara's still hitting creeps top, so... I mean, Skylark is heading back to Fountain. Looks like he's just you know, hands-off keyboarded there. And... Oh, I didn't even know if Spartan's net worth. How's your net worth 500 when starting 625? <laughs> well, I have not noticed like, how poor keep, he was. I keep looking at AA and I'm like, where are your boots? It's 22 minutes into the game. This, you know what this reminds me of, is the puppy visage. The no boots, 24 minute hand of mine. Except this time, the AA doesn't have any bloody money. And can't afford a hand of mine. Nice ward snipe by Spartan. Was that the one you talked about that you saw? Uh, where is Spartan now? Uh, I just no. killed this ward right here. It was, oh. it was this one Good up there. Yeah. Feeling it. Oh, puck again. Puck screen. Uh, back to back. Yes, trying to be yours with the puck. Trying to kill the damage. Nice storm. Drops on his head. Punk on the fall. Spartan's dead. And Madara tries to turn back onto the house. The ice blast was on him, but he doesn't get enough damage in. Take him over that line. VG not done just yet. Storm zips back into the healing ward. The warm embrace. The little golden kitty. Look at this. Well, adorable. It really is adorable, honestly. I'm a pretty big fan of a lot of the healing wards. They're, they're one of the better cosmetics. I mean, this guy is just like like the little sword on the back. Oh. A mini, like, Fireborn Adachi or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. One cosmetic. How cute. I don't like when it dies, though. It doesn't. No. Like... That was by far the most confusing one I've ever had in Dota 2. <laughs> Trying to figure out what that thing was that was happening. No, the most confusing thing was Frankfurt Major with the SF torrent gun. Yeah, that's because no one at Frankfurt ever cast. Uh, SA Dota before. <laughs> no, the second Mott and I heard it, we're like, oh yeah, that's, that's the boys. <laughs> Every game, they bind it to, to right click. So they, they have their taunt automatically bound while they're doing everything in the game, just taunts on stop. That's so yeah. <laughs> like, that's it's just... genius, dude. 100% <laughs> recommend for you hunt on players out there. Bind your taunt to right click. Oh, it's so goodness. good. From mouse but feeling desperate to get something done, MNT has the black dagger ready. Already to get the champ going on. Huh? VG. Pretty deep here, looks like go for a smoke of their own. They've been oh, waiting for it to come in. <laughs> Ray Ray doesn't get smoked, guys. Sad, like. Dyer's you do, you know, that's like, uh, he attack. gets the, uh, he just gets the good. Really? Yeah. So? Well, we'll have the high grounds. Maybe. We want to go in against. Oh, I thought it was going to the bot wing, actually. I guess it's time, dude. This is this is a boot size flat. Uh, Look at that plusy. Just sitting in the side shop. All right, later, guys. Is under Be home. <laughs> we need to go buy observe wards and another TP trend. <laughs> Came in TP like here. This is sad. <laughs> I guess like. You can understand where the gold has gone, right? It's gone into Earthshaker to get the blink. It's gone into Sand King to get the blink. It's gone into the Puck and the Razor to try and hold this game together and get the BK to get Honestly, like, like, this game is all about him just having the prepped up ultis anyway. Yeah. Can't really do it. I mean, it's a little sad you don't get to use your other skills, which have recently been buffed. This is definitely more of the old school AA. The, Maybe a reason it, it fell out. The sit in fountain, or uh, what we used to see from AAs was quelling blade. Before you got your boots, and you just go and ward and de ward and get gold that way, or you'd find little uh, uh, yeah. like you'd cut holes in trees, you know, behind sort of where creep waves meet, and just go and hide in there to leech experience. But I don't know, uh, quelling blade is kind of out of out of the picture here. <laughs> Windlace TV scroll. I can't imagine playing Dota like this. It's like that Lich. <laughs> that Zai game, 80 minutes Radiant's playing Lich. That was one of the most attack. depressing things I've ever seen in my Radiant life. Structures are fortified. Uh, poor EG. A while back. That was when EG was struggling. Now they're top dogs again. They are very good. Skilled gamers. So, what's the game plan now for... I guess Dire is pretty clear. They just get one more item on Storm and DPKB. Oh, that was not top. Can they combo this? Oh, it's like it. Game. Oh, oh, oh. oh, where's the Ice Blast? That's eight seconds away. Someone give me mana. Give me mana. I want to snipe him. Give me mana. There's the Arcanes. He's going to throw this right. They've got one Observer Ward. This is going to... They're heading to Shrine. Oh, they're going to pop see them. Oh, There's a chance. Yeah. Let's wait. 
just imagine if you're throwing the ice blast towards the shrine, like preempting it. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Maybe next time, dead. Smoke three. More lightning. 19 bloodstone charges now for Ori on the storm. Things are getting out of control, and yeah, you, you know, you're thinking about the game plan for mouse sports. Talk about how Vici re have a relatively straightforward time, just, you know, move forward, press your lanes, keep farming aggressively. Mouse sports, they need Dyer's picks, they need a five man team fight. They want to go head to head, but then you're going head to head with Static Storm Kinetic Field when you're so spell reliant. Maybe the range of BKB makes a big difference Dyer's just to put Marder on the front lines and then you're the ones pressuring tier twos. One mm. hit kill. That's, oh, that's the BKB. BKB yep. Part of it. And the boost of travel recipe. Damn, that hurts. For who? Who's are those? Bucks. Yeah. Bucks right? Oh, thug, so sad. It doesn't actually say. Oh, it does now. Fortunate. Phew. Dota 2. Well, this is better than uh, last game. There's uh, some kills happening. That was quite the. And uh, you know, I actually kind of like farming. Uh, I'm, I'd be down for a Naga. Got uh, uh, bands. What, Naga Drauga band over here. Oh yeah. That... Top lane, they're just kind of shadowing their storm spirit. Everything's fine. He's gonna scope Roche. Chill up near the pit. Check him runes. I thought it was interesting that Envy was putting a lot of priority on runes. It was like 30 minutes in, and the enemy team was getting runes, and he's like, they should not be getting these. Just like. The, uh, the idea of how much they can turn to fight. Like, this Invis is rude right now. You know, the Storm Spears Invis are something walking around. Like, it's not as effective this game because they're Ricky and maybe there's some in these locations. Uh, for usual game. Almost relatively interesting. And using the Ricky Illusion just to get a Skylar, so zip. Yeah. Not a good hero with Ricky. That like, exact reason. Well, good. But you think about you know, the mid game or late game runes, the regens, the double damages, taking Roshan or just taking the fight. They're such, such great. You know, we so often talk about swing items or team fighting items like BKB or Hex or Lincolns, things like this. But runes can do a very similar job. And they're things that randomly spawn in the middle of a river that you can randomly go and pick up. Yeah, you, know, you think about that first Shadow Beam gag on the Shadow Blade, like in this room, can just do the exact same. <laughs> yeah. Why have you piped step? Oh, I'm trying to help. Prepare for potion. Stop. And for that, I'm going to go. This is still 10 seconds, yeah, on Ori. It's just... What, what's this swing town? What are you attacking? That is so down. On who? On Storm Spirit. Yeah, yeah that's pretty big. Green armor is pretty sizable against Razor, but everything else is magic. So. Surprise. Fair enough. I'm always down for extra damage. Helps them comp up, make sure people die while they're still inside of the uh, smoke screen. Also, still any signs of a fourth step? <laughs> Trent, they're teaming up. Chat's teaming up. Oh, they're playing. Oh, God. We've turned it, we've created a monster. <laughs> Stupendous! Intelligent. <laughs> we, need, we, we need some intelligent moves from out towards Ori playing the Sean Spartan, apparently. Oh, back, back down to sub 1k. <laughs> <laughs> he was there for, at least by the time he can't lose any gold he's while got, he's dead, he's got so boots. he will reach 1k again. He's got boots, Trent. That's all you have to worry about. He has brown boots. <laughs> Stop encouraging them. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> so adorable, guys. You are so adorable. The thing that really tilts me the most about this net worth indicator thing is that it doesn't shift from 5 to 10, I'm pretty sure, right? It goes like over 5k and then over 15k, is that yeah, true? Or I, does it have a 10k? No, I believe it's 5, well, five then 15. 
as a threshold. That's like so stupid. Like what a difference between it's, 6k lead and 12k. It's meaningless. It's like, Hashtag bring back the bar. Like please, like, can we just tweet Valve? I mean, I just I don't understand why they've removed the bar. I don't I I just really cannot understand like the the, the process behind saying uh, goodbye bar, hello, greater than 5k, greater than 15k. There must be a 10k. All right, it's about to happen. There must be. I refuse to believe they didn't put in a 10k. It's about to happen. 20 gold difference. It's a DLC 20, trend. 20. You have to unlock it through the compendium. 20? Oh, it's only 10? It's even? It's even? Oh, it's still even. It's exactly even. Or 10k? Oh, right, it didn't go up. Nope. There's... There's no, awesome. there's no 10k. It's like right on 10,000 for... For so many times. <laughs> it's like six instances of an update. Zip for oh, Storm DKB's modder does the same. Give it a shoot, it looks like they'll find the Earth Shaker. Easy bit, Epicenter. Uh, Skylark. Uh, enemy heroes aren't there. Epicenter the comes down, the Ash comes down from another Burst Strike and back. Back into the wall, the Razor Ash standing as the Omnis Slap from Ham clears through. Yet another target. This is just. One by one, Mount Scorch falling. BG on a rampage. And Amy comes out with a triple kill on the Ricky. And into Roshan they go. BG Gaming, 23 to 8. And Mount Scorch looks like they've got almost no chance to come back in. All the only one that can win this game for them, it feels like. Any of these engagements, and Rory just ensures he does not have a game. He's DKB and Chase, you're so bad at this game. Nothing you can do. Of like a diffuser or a, uh, a ghost sector rather, something to like keep him alive. Nothing. Yep. Yeah, just now, I'm like the best hero in the game at the age of. I think it's only first row because they kind of waited so long to get their big lead to do it. What does Razor even do this game? Oh, oh god, he is in. What do we know? That is so painful. 26. 45 seconds. 26 bloodstone charges. So game two, uh, thinking about <laughs> changing things, uh, was it really the heroes this game? They had the advantage, they won all three lanes. It was like that one team fight bot was just like, game over. It really was. It, it was just so necessary. It's one of those execution things where that's a really hard fight to win, but they won it. But I feel like Vici had done a great job at not playing into the hands of the combo of Mouse Court. Now they've given away single toggle. Hello. Skylark deleted. Plant the shield onto Yang with a Dagon there. Glimmer Cape and Greaves keep it alive. Yang sprinting away. He's gonna survive. Mardo wants to check. I mean, he's up to the yeah, he's slam from the strong. The clip. Oh, oh man. Right. Take the game. Fuck, he's dead. That's just cool. But the action is just. Down on the spring. Down after he's done. I'm just gonna go away. Doctor, boy. Thank you. 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 Thank if the jug's dead, you can still push. Gotta help. Nice last two. Oh, oh. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The clip play. Back to the mid lane. Doesn't just be found. Oh, they're yeah. gonna be respawned the TP straight away. Harder. Oh, yeah. Take number four, but at least. I haven't seen that in so long. It's been a long time since this. Yeah, but Schwan, of course, knows these old tricks. So, basically, glimpse where your hero was while you were alive within the last five, five seconds of you being alive. So, because Mother was there, I am respawn TP here. I'm within like the five second period of him being alive again. We're still within the threshold of him being there. He gets gripped from that position. No, or is it to go in? Looks for the dialogue. It's still in TV. Yeah, He's back not in. even close to being in trouble right now. But instead, Echo Slam catches one of the PKB. Storm secures his life with GTH WP. Family, please. Have mercy, Ori. 36 plus charges. Ooh. Minutes in the game. 37. He caps it right at the end. That's 
think when you end up with more bloodstone charges than kills, you hit something right in your game. More bloodstone charges than yeah. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's how you know you really won. Holy shit! Thirty-seven. Well.